Do you think all black people just know all vampires? Is that what you think? <laughs> Triple A? Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, I'll fix your carburetor. <laughs> I like I like that as a thing that just gives you way more work to do. In your yeah. life. That's great. You're not yeah, doing yeah, enough. Yeah. You We're should like, be in Uber podcast, also. Yeah. You get a pin and yeah. then also we'll just pick you up. Yeah. We'll pick you up. No questions asked. We'll change your oil. Free and then therapy. the whole podcast becomes about me working on cars. Honestly. The comics I know. I would listen to that. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. Are, you, are you able to work on cars? I can you? change my oil. Mm. What? And I can That's look huge. at someone changing my tire. Oh. <laughs> that's what it's actually, that's interesting. Most people could change a tire, but not their oil. Uh, oh, the no, what, no, sorry. I can't change my oil. I oh. can check my oil. And <laughs> oh, oh, you mean go to stick it? I can add oil. <laughs> yeah. I can't change it. No, That'd but you, crazy. it's actually, okay, changing oil yeah, is actually change, really easy. Is it? Yeah, because there's of a little thing. Of course you know how to do this. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But it, it's like, it, literally if you fucking look at where the stick comes out, the dipstick. Yeah. yeah. And then like, you look down into your car. Yeah. You see where it comes out at the bottom of the car. Yeah. And then you just unhinge the thing and then you put a bu bucket underneath and it empty, empties the That's oil. That's it? That's literally My all dad acts like oily. it's a big thing. Yeah, he's down there he wants... rolling around. Yeah. yeah the dog's because... like going in there. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, my knees. Yeah. I think he makes a big deal of it for the dog. Because oh, she likes when he's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're a real man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get on the floor. That's funny. Yeah. yeah can dog... you can you do Fuck mechanic no. stuff? No, I yeah. can change a tire. That's it. Yeah. That's all I'll ever. I wouldn't I don't expect do any comic I know to be able to do this stuff. Yeah, some of them can. Some are really handy. Some, Maybe you know, ten. some people. Like Tim McLaughlin can change. A tire. I refuse to let him guess. be the standard of the thing. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, he probably. Well, we're could saying do that. that because he has no <laughs> other skills or job. It's crazy. You know what but I mean? He can yeah. hang up. He can hang up shelves really well. That is true. Mm. Yeah. And uh, there's got to be something lovable about him. He's in a relationship <laughs> with someone who cares about him. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> More power to that guy. Yeah, Hell yeah dude. we liked him. Tim's a friend of the. We pod, loved him. Friend of the Tim, pod. Yeah, he's a former he's guest. Gone. Yeah, former guest of the pod. Okay. Tim McLaughlin. Uh, how do you like my ass, Julian or chopped? Yeah, that's that's his title. We know all the titles. I will. Yeah. I will. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I study really them know like flashcards before every episode. Just yeah. so I can call back references to references episode thirty one. I have to yeah. know. What the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I will say uh, he has koozies and uh, oh, this yeah. drink ain't going to suck itself. Great. And I Great. gave that to my wife as a wedding gift. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like Tim. Allie's a koozie girl. I'm a koozie. I'm a koozie. You know girl. that probably. We've all we've all been yeah. talking about it. <laughs> Your big koozie. We're all head. like, when do we bring this up as an yeah. issue? <laughs> How many koozies till it's an issue? I just she made has like having six a or koozie seven? my personality. <laughs> yeah. At, which is the stupidest thing to make your entire personality about. Mm. I'm going to be fully honest. I know we're doing a fun bit. I don't think I've ever seen you use a koozie. Oh, uh, really? <gasps> I have two in my fanny pack right now. And yet you're not using it. No, because these are too thin. She, yeah, she never uses this mm. on the pod. I, yeah. I, use it, I used it on the pod yesterday. I use them on the pod if the cans mm. are normal sized. And I just got pointed at for not noticing that. <laughs> 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 Whenever I talk to anybody, no matter... How normal the conversation is. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you're from Boston. That's yeah, a Boston just pointing all the time. Like you're pushing all your thoughts into them. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm like, are you getting it? Are you getting yeah. it? <laughs> all right. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Worthless pod. Clowns a podcast about how stupid we all are. I'm Brittany Cardwell, Bertonis Cardwell on Instagram, and I am Ali O'Neill. You can find me at it's Ali O'Neill on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Worthless Clowns, and follow us on Instagram and rate and subscribe to the pod. And today, we have a special stupid guest. It's Ben Katzner. It's me. I'm an idiot. I'm a dumb, dumb asshole. Oh, yeah. How you Let's doing, see how bud? dumb he is, and then we'll, uh... Don't make me do math. Um, <laughs> I'm good. Thanks for what having me. That was me. the whole pod. That, what I a would stupid not pod. Yeah. If you're like, hey, do you want to come on to do a math problem on camera? I'd be like, I'll kill you. You do That's math true. problems, you get them wrong, you're doing push-ups. <laughs> Truly, that might be my hell. That might be the worst thing that's ever happened. Every time that would be fucking brutal. Our, um, my math teacher was also like the gym teacher, so he had us do push ups. Dude, math really? teachers and gym yeah. teachers are always the same. It overlaps. Or yeah. like, they're always like, all of the math teachers at my high school were like former like athletes. Mm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, shut up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Shut up, dude. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, yeah. All the math teachers and like gym teachers in my school are the same because they both molested me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fun joke for everyone. That's why you hate math and gym now. Yeah. <laughs> but I love getting choked. Um, yeah. It's got to come out somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it weird to regret a joke you made one second into a podcast? Oh, <laughs> no. Kind of oh, not to tell. Oh, this is your first impression oh. to our three listeners, one of which is Mike Racine? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing fine. Yeah, Mike likes to get choked, too, I'm sure. Oh, so. probably. What's up, dog? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, talk about changing. One, we had a road trip with Racine, and he had, like, these gigantic car problems. And oh, yeah? I thought, <laughs> respectfully, Mike, I thought he would be a guy who could, like, fix a car in that situation. No. Yeah. It was not. It was. It was a real insight into the type of man he is, which is a good man and a man I like, but yeah, not yeah. one who fixes his car. I Wait, you like. would read Mike Racine as a guy who fixes cars? He said that. I said that. Well, you you said Black, that, but you said. Brittany. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Happens a lot. <laughs> totally get it. No, I know that you said that, but then you were like, "Yeah." Like, oh. did you say that because you agree? No, uh, I thought that because I could imagine Mike getting hyper fixated on learning something. Sure. I feel like sure. I feel like he would get hyper fixated on something useless, like our yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something no. that doesn't help him at all in the real world. Yeah. Like, and although we have a podcast. guest, this is not about you. This whole pod is about Mike. Yeah. And I love that. And that's but actually thanks for why coming on. Anyway, yeah. can I say? <laughs> We did have a fun guy moment where, like, I think he had a flat tire or something, and it was parked in this park and ride and whatever. And we're both just kind of, like, hands on our hips looking at it. I'm like, yeah, that's not good. You know what I mean? Yeah, I where I'm not helping, but I said a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're just like, yeah, I have I'm some thoughts about this. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Tires broken, huh? <laughs> Tires broken. Probably bad. Did you guys circle around it too? Like you looked at the different angles turn. of it. Yeah, yeah, I did a little like around the back. Well. Like yeah, and then you do one of these. You do one of these. You're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. You're yeah. like, oh, I got closer. Yeah. Still the same. And, and to his credit, he indulged me. He didn't say. It. He's like, what are you doing? You're an idiot. He's and then it's also it. it's clearly like a flat, but then one of you pours bubbly water on it yeah, just yeah, to just to be like, I know this trick. Yeah. Even though it's obvious, there's like a huge I, slash. You think yeah. if I put a little gum on there, it'd work? You think yeah. I could just plug the hole with some gum? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to plug the hole with gum, and then you got to put your mouth on it and blow. Yeah. Oh. Where were you guys that going? Feels like a different thing. Uh, <laughs> Connecticut. It was me. I went to Connecticut with him. Did you? I can't remember where. Was it Connecticut? Or it was like upstate. I actually don't no, it was Woodstock. It was some Woodstock or something mm. like that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rachel Williams, Mike Racine, Ray Goots. It was pretty fun. It was mm. really, it was a really nice room. I can't remember where what it was, but it was fun. I yeah. remember that. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Brittany, you got any updates since yesterday? <sighs> oh man, I can. The only thing I have is I I lost track of time today. Like, yeah, I she... thought for some reason I was like, oh, I don't have to leave till three forty five. But Which the pod is, is at minutes. four, <laughs> and I live an hour weird. away, and I, really I don't know how I got that that's in my head. Really that happens to me, too. Yeah. But I'm never, but it's never later. It's always way earlier. I've done oh. it way earlier before. Sometimes I've left an hour early for yeah. something by accident, and yeah. then I'm like, what am I doing? Couldn't yeah. be me. I Could never do it. I'm like chronically early to mm. stuff. It's insane. So that, was, you would not, re I, respectfully, you would not. <laughs> You do not read as a chronically early person. It's because I'm secretly neurotic. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. I have a lot right. of anxiety uh, mm -hmm. that is um, made uh, better and worse by being early to everything. <laughs> sure. Every show I've ever done in my entire life, I arrive 15 minutes early. That's and good. then I'm like, I don't know anybody there. So I'm going to walk around the block and come in five minutes yeah. early. Like a cool yeah, sure. guy would. I do that too if I'm too early. I used to arrive to shows 30 or 40 minutes early because I thought you were supposed to. I, yeah. I think. Like as a check-in or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. think on the road or whatever, that's a good thing. Yeah. But here it's almost like you get punished for being early. If yeah. You're if you're not a comedian who likes to go first. You should show up when the show is over. Like yeah, you should yeah. just, just to be safe. Absolutely. You should never. You never yeah. want to go up. You could come halfway through and they're like, we could restart and put you first. Yeah, yeah right? I know. <laughs> yeah. But, but um, so I was getting ready all leisurely because I thought I had some That's time. So funny. And I was like, this is relaxing. And then I like realized <laughs> like, fuck. it. Yeah, I was just running around like fuck, fuck. And then I was like, I gotta take an Uber. And I kept looking at maps over and over and just like using Brutal. up all my time. Stressful day. <laughs> I used up all my time just looking, just at, maps looking at maps in different <laughs> like over and over. You're like, do and you like, think it, 
Do you think this map will look a little bit different yeah, than the other map? I was like wishing it would change so I could still take the bus somehow. Yeah. yeah. You always want a loophole every time. You're like, yeah. no, but if I walk through this yeah. building project that no one should ever walk through, yeah. it should be fine. I'll yeah. be there okay. in 10 minutes. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Everything's yeah. great. So that's but my... you made it. And I would, if you would have told me that you were like rushed or whatever, I would have never assumed you were rushed. Yeah, well, it was true. my it only update, so I had to tell people. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got nothing else sure. since yesterday. I think you rushed so fast that your sleeves got cut. Yeah, look oh, at this. This no. is annoying. I bought this is an update. Okay. I bought this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's an update. Sure. I bought this. I bought this, stu- this stupid sweater. <laughs> it's st- Look, it's like bell sleeves, but it's not real bell but sleeves. But there's a big slit it's, in it's it. It's like when people used to make bell bottoms by just cutting a slit in the side of their pants sure. instead of oh, it yeah, being a full around. bell bottom. Yeah. I can't stand this. I knew this was going to bother me, but I was like, but it looks cool and maybe that'll overcome everything else. I wish the slit was I on think the I'm gonna, bottom. I think I'm going to tie them together. It's just a little too deep. <clears throat> it's just frustrating. Yes, you do. That I is can't big, stand this. That's big Muppet energy right there. Yeah. <laughs> no. She's like, like, oh, brother. Oh, boy. Her arms are being operated by two different guys. 100%. Yeah. Have you ever seen like those, uh, those like outtakes? Shirt. You know what I mean? Where they're like, it's like some sort of Muppet creature. And then it's like, Maggie, you bitch, get out of my way. It's like, yeah, yeah. That's the energy that that has right there. When you're about to say a slur as a Muppet, that's fun. I got to get rid of this. You bitch. Anyway, that's what's going on with me. Hell yeah, dude. (laughs) And what about you, Allie? All right. Well, I was going to not say this on the pod, but Ben (laughs) Ben called me a coward. So now I'm saying it on the pod. Yeah, own your truth. Um, Immediately before this, uh, like literally maybe 20 minutes ago, I accidentally said I love you to the man that I've recently started. Started dating. Wow. <laughs> and you seem thrilled about it. And so I showed up and I was like, <laughs> and everybody was like, why is your energy so weird? And I'm like, it's because I'm off my balls. <laughs> and so what, what happened is like we were hugging and he was like, I like hanging out with you. And I was like, I love, oh God. Oh, so you didn't go in full. No, but he knew what I was going to say. What if he said, I love hanging out with you? Then it's a competition. Yeah, yeah, no. And then it's like, or I no, love hanging out with you I think he said, I more. like you. And I was like, I love you. Oh God. Oh. That's what happened. I gotta be honest. I feel like a, th- I don't, I'm not shitting on this person. I think a, I like you is a little weirder to me than an I love. Give me an I love you. Mm. No, I'm but but we do that a lot where we're like we're you. like edging <laughs> it all the time. Yeah. Edging your emotions. We're always like, I love hanging out. Like we use that word yeah. a lot for mm. other stuff. Sure. Mm. We're like, dude, I love hanging out with you. Like today yeah. we were watching Blade Trinity. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Blade. Yo. By the way, before she starts, yesterday we caught up for the first time in a week. She and spent I talked about Blade. Thirty-five for so long. minutes on Blade. Dude, Blade is so good. Okay, You're not this wrong. is why. This is why Blade is. Good. I haven't seen it, but I gotta see it. Okay, Blade is so fun. Oh, oh. Blade is so good <laughs> because okay, the first movie is absolutely insane. Yes, and uh, Wesley Snipes number one like move to like kill people <laughs> is to take somebody's head and drag it through something. Oh. <laughs> He's always taking people's heads and dragging it through shelves and shit. Interesting. Yeah, like That's constantly. Do you remember that about it? Not at all. But you should that, rewatch, that it. rewatch it. Yeah. And then the second one is pretty good, but the plot is kind of weird. And then the third one, dude, the third one is incredible. The cast is amazing. So the first scene is, a, it's like the desert. So they have to go find Dracula. Blade is a half vampire, half human. It doesn't matter. All black. But, go yeah, ahead. all a hundred percent. Hundred percent. And like played by Wesley, Wesley Snipes, yes. who is mm-hmm. terrible at it. And so I hold on. It's, all right, no, you finish your. You finish. Uh, I think, I think he's, he's a bad actor. <laughs> yeah, but he's in a good Blade, Blade specifically. Okay. <laughs> well, That's also fair. everybody in Blade. There's like good. Like Ryan Reynolds is in the last yeah. one, and everybody's a terrible actor yeah. in that movie. And so, okay, so the first scene, which this is what fucking got me, dude. The first scene is <laughs> is the desert, and then you see this like pyramid, and then like an RV, not an RV, like a fucking like off roader drives up. Three people get out, and you're like, they must be vampires because they're all covered because they yeah. can't be out in the sun. And then they're like walking into the pyramid, and then one of them turns around and flips off the sun. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go in, take off their gear, and then it's Parker Posey, mm-hmm. Triple H, mm-hmm. and then a third person. Okay, and then, uh. 
the rest of the movie is Parker Posey and Triple H <laughs> as the enemies. It's so good, dude. Mm. Can I say right now? Yeah. I love you. This is, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Dude, you got, we all, I get it. You all, everybody, ev- everybody has to watch Blade we, 1, 2, a, and 3. Let's do a Blade uh, Blade up. Yeah. Once we get a Patreon going. Dude, we'll do it on the Patreon. Yeah. We'll watch Blade together. I'll watch Blade. You should get Wesley Snipes on the pod. Oh, you think he'd do it? I bet if you offer him 50 bucks. He's probably not that busy bucks. these days, I was literally right? about to be like, do you know him? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fucking, that's racist as hell. No, and then I was like, but, uh-oh. Yeah, no, I do, actually. He is my uncle. Um, yeah. Uncle Wes, we call him, so don't even worry about it. Oh, yeah. my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> do you know him? Well, I mean, I, do you think all black people just know all vampires? Is that what you think? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the logic behind Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, but wait, God. so back to your story. Then, oh. Then you just went out the door no and then both of us i was like reeling and he was like uh i was like very embarrassed and he's like is there anything i can do for you huh. and i was like no i'll just um why uh oh oh he meant it in a just that's just in a like hard, a sweet way that's just a hard thing to hear <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah is there anything yeah. i could do because really? i'm you panicking could, that you much say it back that, <laughs> would be, that would be the number you one could say, thing uh i get it yeah yeah like, <laughs> You should be like, I know, and then lower yourself yeah. into the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Han like, Solo. You could be like, I love me too. You know, there's a lot of <laughs> things you could really throw out there. Is there anything I could do for you? Just it, it accentuates the idea that you are in a weird place. It sounds you know? like yeah. he's going to run you a bath and yeah. like give you a loan. <laughs> yeah, you're sick. <laughs> like, oh, are you love sick? Do you yeah. want some soup? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Then, we were, then we were talking about it after, and I was like, dude, I'm fine. I just feel awkward that I said that, mm-hmm. and it's too early, and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, yeah, I agree, but we know we're going in that direction, blah, 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 which yeah. is the same thing that we did with like the girlfriend-boyfriend thing. Yeah. It's like for weeks beforehand, we were like, we were like, yeah, we know we're like girlfriend-boyfriend, but we got to wait until it's normal to say it. How long have you been dating? Like a month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, also, you are know they, him. Are they going to let you back in Boston after you said, <laughs> I after know. a month and a half, you told the guy you loved him? I know, I no, know. You're fucked. You live in Connecticut now. You live in Maine oh, now. You're I'm done. S- do you see how much I'm sweating? Yeah, I love this. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This is my podcast now. Yeah. We, we, had, um, we had uh, Luke Monas on, and he was telling a story about how he accidentally said I love you to Uber drivers like three times. What? Have you ever done anything? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> no, nobody does that. What? I, know. I See, do that to times. Dr- You've never gotten close even? To a stranger? Yeah. No. I've never uh, gotten close with a stranger. It's always someone I know. No, it's, I do it a lot at, for some reason, like drive throughs Oh, uh, love ya. Yeah, Thanks, where, love ya. I'm like, yeah, I'll have a double bacon cheeseburger and a small diet Coke. Okay, yeah, thanks, love you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do, you, do you both say it a lot in your life? Would I you, say it like, to my friends, I mean, I yeah, friends a lot. I think that's what it is. I don't really give yeah. that up to a yeah. lot of people. So. Oh, okay. No, I I tell everybody all the time. Only if it's true, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, because I love a lot. Well, with your wife, oh, it's unlimited, right? <laughs> unlimited. It'd be crazy if you had like a unlimited. cap every day. You're like, I already did three. Yeah. yeah, you know the rules. You only get this much. I would say anything over three is a lot. You know, <laughs> we've had a long day. If that's the case. Yeah. No, I love you. I love you. I, you know. That's yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you did uh. You say it a lot, or your family say it a lot growing up, or anything? No, no. We, I honestly <laughs> feel like we just started. I oh, feel really? like we mm. just started hugging. We just started saying, yeah. me being like, I love you to like my brother and my sisters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I started with my mom a long mm-hmm. time ago, just mm-hmm. be like, give you, a, she's like a Midwestern German lady. So yeah. she needs. Yeah. To know what a hug feels like, so yeah. I'll do this, <laughs> and then with this, I will also give you one. I love you, and I will see you in six months. You know, like it's that kind of. This energy. is a standard hug. Yes. This is the side hug. Yeah. Yeah. You give her like a like a pamphlet that like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't hit people when hugs. they do this to you. It means they yeah. care about you. Yeah. It's fine. Um, but yeah, we're not. We weren't a big, but I think we're better about it now. Yeah. I kind of forced yeah. them into it. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Someone has to do it, though. I feel like that always happens where someone kind of wants it to happen and they initiate it. Yeah. And other people wanted it, but they felt too weird to initiate. Yeah. I yeah. kind of coerced my family into loving each other. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Come on. I just want to be loved a little bit. Um, yeah. Oh, you guys don't sit on a big couch and snuggle and watch movies? <laughs> I have a hard time with like normal, like funk. 
normal functioning families mm, where they same. have a lot of it's mm. easy to give affection and it's I'm just like yeah. Yeah. how did you get here and why are you cops you know what I mean yeah, I, yeah, really, I, know. I don't trust this I hate this actually a lot yeah. no totally mm. um all right you got a uh do you got a stupid story for us sure um, oh I can't wait I've been thinking. I've been thinking about this a little bit. I w- here real quick. I will say because you shared your truth about the "I love you." I said I love you to my wife first before we were married. And <laughs> okay, I hope so. <laughs> You're we saving "I love you" for marriage. <laughs> That's insane, dude. You're clapping your cheeks, but you don't say "I love you" before marriage. That's insane. <laughs> Embarrassed. Uh, but yeah, I got a I got a mid response back where I was like, oh, should I just never talk to you again? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, Wait, what, when do, was do you remember this? what she said? I think she was just like, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, which is bad. And How I think early it was, on was this. Um, I think it was probably two like, dates in. Yeah, it was <laughs> first time I ever met her. I was like, I love yeah. you. <laughs> And this is gonna You're work. Like, you know this, but we're gonna get weird. married. <laughs> yeah. But like as a threat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from the future. You're gonna love me forever. Um, <laughs> I think it was probably like six months in, maybe. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. That's like, but it, that's that is hard to hear amid six months in. Yeah. That also like, is an appropriate amount of time. I think that's yeah. the right amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to believe it's the right amount of time to Fuck. say. It. <laughs> that, but you know, whatever. It's, yeah, it's, it's fine. a different path yeah. for everybody. It's yeah. fine. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it was just like a, yeah, you know. <laughs> and I, but I, but I also think it was like, ugh, that's part. Uh, or was it like, yeah, I've been waiting. No, I waited so not long. That. I'm not prepared no. anymore. I think it was just like, then we just like kind of cuddled for a little bit after, yeah. and then I was like, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go, and then just <laughs> assuming she would change her number and never talk to me yeah. again. Yeah, uh, but I got her. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm out here, dog. Oh, <laughs> and then like girl. it just took a while, and then she said it back. Did you She's say never it said again? It. She's never said it. To me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she. I think it was kind of a big to do. I think it was like, you know, like um. I oh, I also feel that you know like she was a little yeah less... she like I've been thinking about that thing you said <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that four weeks later shit you did. and I, I uh, now like I'm later. moving uh, and yeah. changing all my locks <laughs> that is, that's right but move. it is like a huge thing for some people sure. which yeah. I totally get mm-hmm. like I just think the way that I've decided to live my life is I'm like fucking YOLO I love everybody and I want them to yeah. fucking know yeah. I think that's right you I think you're I mean? living yeah. your life correctly I think yeah. it's crazy that we I'm like you could die tomorrow emotions. so I want you to know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think that is a very real thing and I believe yeah. <laughs> but that's what you want them to, you know, I want you to know you could die tomorrow I know I do say I love you but it sounds like a fucking threat yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the best way to hear it honestly so a week later she's like I love you too yeah I just think oh, it took so it a little bit oh so didn't take you saying it again or anything no like no no that. I wasn't I if I'm saying it once and if I don't hear yeah. the right response you'll probably never hear me yeah. talk again yeah. so <laughs> if you think I'm saying it again I yeah. think you're yeah. nuts um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know I felt like it was the right time I was wrong, but then it was a week later or whatever. Yeah. So like, oh, yeah. She bad. just took a little time to process it. Yeah. Because yeah. also, sometimes you don't even think about, like, like, do I love this person? And, like, what does that mean to me? Yeah. Sure. And, and what does it mean like to that? them? And what is, yeah, what does it mean I to mean them? And, else? like, you're, like, maybe you have to be like, I've never really thought about it. So let me, like, roll it over until yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Oh yes, I do love you too. I yeah, guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. That yeah. whole week, she was like, "Do I love him?" She's looking at you like the way you looked at that tire. A hundred percent. But for way longer. What if I, Checking what, underneath. She's like, "What if I pour some water on him? Is there any yeah. holes in there? <laughs> Is it gonna bubble up?" Yeah. That, that, Is that's... that how I know? <laughs> oh, so much stuff bubbled up later. Um, <laughs> But I just wanted to share that with you just so you could have. I've been yeah. there. No, it's okay. yeah. it's totally fine. Never like a month in. That's crazy. But I like, know. That like, is no, insane. I'm just also, I said after... I love you and not heard it back. And then really? eventually he did say it back. Damn. But it was like awkward for a while because I was like, I meant it. So yeah, you get yeah. why take and it now back. we're just Fuck hanging it. out like yeah. normal. We're just eating a hamburger now. Yeah, yeah. What? yeah. <laughs> like I didn't just say I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing it to others? You're like, I love this hamburger too. <laughs> Don't you love something? See in how little Are you love comfortable means with that? to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, but after I made fun of him, which made me feel really comfortable, <laughs> which was, I was like, oh, and he was like, no, that was nice. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, like, it's nice that it's going in that direction. And I'm like, oh, you want your girlfriend to love you? <laughs> oh, you want that? That's so funny. <laughs> You're so, I would love to watch a reality show of you being in a relationship. 
That's all I ever want. And here's the thing. I do that to everybody I date, and yeah. it never goes over well, but yeah. he loves it, which is really nice. That's great. I make fun of him all the time. That's I'm amazing. like, oh, you fucking miss me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your fucking parents died? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I'll go to the funeral and support you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. That literally is yeah. me. Okay. Okay, okay, let's get into the sh- yeah. yeah. Story. Also, thank you for your um vulnerability hey. in this moment yeah. and trying to make me feel better. I'm with you. One love. Uh, <laughs> cut that out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm directing the podcast. Let's cut that. Timestamp. Uh, timestamp from Ben. So Connor's going to put the timestamp in, and yeah. when I'm editing it, I'm gonna be like, "What the fuck is this?" Does he put timestamps in? Sometimes they put timestamps because uh, you say "departed." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Departed. Gotcha. That's what I call it because I'm from Boston, like, and they're you- trying to take our culture away. <laughs> Like, do you guys hate that movie? Or? Yeah, I'm like, dude, it's just fucking departed. That's wild. Okay, <laughs> hilarious. Uh, yeah, we're going to cut all that out, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, they have no idea. I didn't say the word. Yeah, better <laughs> producer. <laughs> These people watching it, they're departed. They don't know. <laughs> I mean, Racine is watching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kidding, Mike. Love you. Okay. Uh, I was trying to think of some... Do you have... Do you? And this is just a thing to think about as I talk about this, I guess. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had like embarrassing on stage moments, like really, like truthfully, like? Oh crushing? yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that's the that was the one I really came back to. I think about this. I don't know. Probably once a week. Um, <laughs> How long ago was it? Uh, it was 2023, so I would argue eight years ago, maybe. Oh wow, six so to eight years ago. Really oh rough. man, yeah. I was that's a lot of thoughts about it. Once a week for so, eight years. Hey, we I'm don't not do doing math the math. We don't do, <laughs> we don't do. Yeah, we don't do math. No, no, no. Brittany's a pod. doctor. She can do the math, but I, my nose will start bleeding if yeah. I cry. <laughs> <laughs> I I think it was something around there. I I I've, I've been doing comedy for a little bit, but like not super long. Let's call it six years ago. Okay. Yeah. Right. Maybe right before I moved here, and I. Was I started in Minneapolis, mm-hmm. and there's this big comedy club called the House of Comedy in the Mall of America. Mm. It's oh. the, the dude, tourist. I love in a mall. I exactly. love a club in a mall, dude. It's 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 so it feels like so hit or miss depending on where it's located in yeah. a mall. If it's like you're walking in an entrance, mm-hmm. and there's a you know there's a sign that says the comedy club is ahead or up <clears> or whatever. <throat> like that's okay. I can I can do this. This one is in the fourth floor of the Mall of America with like <laughs> no signage. You, you Next to a Victoria's have, Secret. Oh, you wish. The Victoria's <laughs> Secret is in prime location. Yeah. The club is the complete opposite. And it's one of these places where it's like you only really find it if you're getting lost. Like if you're completely yeah. lost, you're like, I, I just need to find help. You're like, yeah. oh, there's a comedy club here? You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's the vibe. So it's a lot of like random touristy people and it's huge. It's like four maybe 350 people or 400 people whoa it like fits a good amount it's like an airplane hangar is right? it ever like full yeah sometimes it's full. some people bring whoa. in full i've done a couple full shows there and it Dang. is like it's a it's a it can be fun if it's it's never fun for me but it can be fun <laughs> I, mean, I like it and i like doing comedy there and I, please keep booking me uh but like is it like hilarities is it like that big um i've never been to hilarities. it's like an improv kind of oh like okay it's, gotcha. it's like yeah, pretty yeah. big and there's kind of a different, there's ones in Canada and Phoenix and all gotcha. those other places, right? It's a chain. It's a, it's a chain. And, um, but people come in and it can be pretty tough if you're not the headliner because they usually are just like specifically like, I want to see, yeah. you know, Tim the Two Man Taylor. Like, oh, <laughs> real name and whatever. they make you work to get there. So the <laughs> only people who end up getting there are people who are like, I need to see this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> and I don't remember who I was working with, but. I was, it's Canadian style. So you're the host of the show. Mm. So you do 20 minutes and then the feature does like 15 and then you do another 10. Whoa. Yeah. So I was. That's weird. I'm, yeah. I've never heard of that. Yeah. I, I don't, you know, I don't mind it. I kind of, yeah. I actually think it makes sense because you like not to get too comedy or whatever, but like, I think it's good to have a strong comic host the show. Yeah. And then yeah. like a less whatever, yeah, yeah. just do some time in the middle or whatever. And then you no. bring it back. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you could do like crowd work in the beginning to yeah. actually warm up the crowd yeah. and do your real material. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's that makes so much bad. sense. This guy gets it. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing comedy yeah. for four years. I love that. <laughs> that's great. 
Um, and so I was, I go up, I do my thing, blah, 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 whatever. I'm having it. I'm like, it's, it's mid, but I'm like, you know, yeah. it's been way worse. Most of these people hate me, but there's like a pocket of people who seem like they like me. And yeah. I'm like, you know what? This is totally fine. That's good. Wow, that's good for you, focusing on the people that like you. Uh, it's the only thing so I can hard. do. I couldn't find my gun, so I couldn't kill myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I, I get off. I think someone else goes on, and I get back, whatever. Yeah. Uh, in between, I'd, like, gone to the bathroom and, like, chilled out, whatever. I just like to... I like to find my little peace while someone else is doing their thing, or whatever. <laughs> no, totally. And then... Show ends. I don't know. Headliner does fine. I'm sure nothing happened. That was crazy. No one's like talking to me, mm-hmm. and I could feel like I'm like okay. Most okay. of these people hated me, and like that's <laughs> totally fine. I'm I'm just kind of out front. Just sometimes I loiter and linger just in case someone yeah. wants to, whatever. So yeah. If the, if there's not a good green room hang, I'll just be out in front, just being like saying thank you to people for yeah. coming. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's nice. Yeah, I'm like a nice bitch, and then I. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just chilling and then like two people came up to me and they're like, hey, you were really funny. Like, I really that was great. And I was like, thank you so much. And they were like, we loved the thing you did or we loved your jokes. We were wondering, like, what was the toilet paper about, though? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. the toilet paper. They're like, well, we saw that you had like toilet paper hanging out. Behind your pants. No, God, this is a bad dream. No, this isn't real. Wait, you took a shit in the twenty minutes or the fifteen minutes that the feature was on? Yeah, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna listen and learn? No. And so then- and so what I had done because sometimes in public you're like I don't they know. They were what's laughing at your punchlines. They're laughing every time they turn and <laughs> right. turn and saw the toilet right. paper. Yeah. So I sometimes and if then you're doing no... that Jessica Kirsten thing where you turn to the back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Just you turn and whisper ass. to yourself. Yeah. 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 And it's also like five feet long. I, it was comically. It was it wasn't like touching the ground long, but it was like to like my knee area. Oh my <laughs> god. No. That's so that is comically long. Yeah. Yeah. I know. But... Maybe maybe it wasn't that. Okay, let's say it cut the distance between my knee and my ass cheek or whatever. Doesn't matter. It's it was long still enough too to be long. long. That has to be that long because it has to be longer than your t-shirt. And the yeah. t-shirt's long. And then when you walk off stage, it like flows like this. <laughs> So what it what it happened was I I had made there wasn't a seat cover so I did like the oh yeah thing, yeah because yeah. you know I'm mm-hmm. I'm a princess and I put it down <laughs> and then I guess like one of the things just when I you know pulled everything yeah, up one yeah. of them yeah. just got caught in there and I just did time with that little <laughs> toilet paper tail there and they just there were just like two people there who were like dude I can't wait to see what this bit with the toilet paper is about and I never addressed it they I were didn't like know texting what was their happening. friends before they were like this yeah, like, toilet paper dude, dude oh I can tell. He's His gonna be thing. so funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should change your so name on Instagram simple. to Ben Toilet Paper Cats. Yeah, baby. I'll do Imagine that. if you dealt with that by making it your thing. Yeah. And never talking about it. Yeah. And never admitting you're embarrassed. Just to, yeah. yeah, just to not be embarrassed by two people who will never talk to me ever again. Yeah. I, I I was just like, they were like, dude, the toilet paper. We were just wondering what you're gonna do with the toilet paper. And I was like, <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot the joke. You, you know? played it I, off. I like I was oh, yes, yes. I was like, oh, you're right. I forgot the toilet paper bit. <laughs> Dude, you just have to come see me again. You know? And so you're talking to them, and it's still attached to you. Um, I think I. Oh, actually, I do think I found it later. I forgot this part. Oh. I think after I got off stage, I was like, "Was this on there the whole oh. time? Fuck. Did anybody see it?" Like oh, I was kind yeah. of panicking. Oh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was. That, that's one of the most embarrassing things I've ever. I like. That's so I like funny. that you found the toilet paper on the back of your pants and then still decided to hang out outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like if I had done that, I would have hid. Well, nobody said it. like you. You would think, especially now, I guess. This was a different time, a little yeah. bit. Six years ago, a different time. Oh, yeah. I don't like, remember it. I'm 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like if you have toilet paper on yourself, someone would be like, like if your fly is down, someone would be like, your fly is down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel like if I'm flying toilet paper, someone's yeah. like, hey, man, you got a little extra stank on there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nobody said that. So they're That's all cowards, so honestly. so weird. Did, and you knew the comics you were working with? I, I'm sure I knew. I don't remember who they were. I, I think I probably knew at least one of them. Yeah. I don't remember who the headliner was or anything, mm. but it was Man, uh, that's so funny. So fun, dude. <laughs> Incredible. Well, there every was... week you think about that, huh? <laughs> I'm not. Every time I take a shit, I'm like, I double Before check. Before every I'm set, like, are you checking stuff? Uh, I'm just checking to see if I still want to do comedy mostly. But, 
I check but my yeah. fly a lot. Yeah, you got to check your I've fly. I've got my fly down. Here's yeah. the thing. I wear Levi's yeah. that have buttons. Mm. And I would never, ever forget to button yeah. this. Yeah, it's hard to forget. I button from that. the down up. That's why you buy them. It's for stage. Yeah, because I have ADHD and I'll just forget. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. Um, it's a more distinct memory because there's like eight buttons. I know. Yeah, and they're like, difficult. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah. Dude, I got so fast like at those. it. Those are crazy pants to wear. I like, know. I, hate those. I know, but like I haven't found pants that fit like this. Mm. Okay. And I'm like, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Levi's. They fit like this. There you go. <laughs> cut that up. We'll cut that up. We'll make that a thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Levi's. Levi's. You'll there's... know when you're closed. <laughs> <laughs> Levi's. There's a bunch of buttons on it. <laughs> That's great. Should we get into our postie? Yeah. Let's get and into And you're reading it? Postie. So what we do on this podcast, um, which I was going to explain before, but then you guys were riffing and yeah. I wanted you guys to have your moment. Thank you. Was, oh, <laughs> right. Was, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Also, we talked about this on the pod yeah. yesterday. Brittany was on the way here. She was texting me, like, she was asking me questions about, like, what we should do oh, for yeah. the pod. Because normally I'm on the bus. Yeah. Calm, just preparing. And then I'm yeah. rushing to get here because I live close. Yeah. And then she texts me a bunch of questions. And I sent her this picture of crest white strips on my teeth as I was walking. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't answer any of her questions. Like, Super helpful. Great. I'm excited yeah. for this. <laughs> I'm like, which post should we do? Should we do this? How about tomorrow? She's like, here's what I'm up to. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just. That I'm, would infuriate me. I would slam my phone. I'm surprised it doesn't make Brittany angry, angrier because I do that shit all the time. Brittany's well, cool, you know, I don't out. express my emotion well. Oh, <laughs> oh no. wow. That felt like, a, you know, like when a kid says mother, you know what I mean? Yeah. That had that energy yeah. to it. Um, Yesterday we were joking on the pod that, um, me and Brittany have to go to a couple's counselor and it would be mm. funny to have the couples. Oh, yeah. Well, not that we have to go. Our hey. friendship no, is great. we're going to have them okay. on the pod. But we should have a hey. couple's counselor on the pod. <laughs> Does she hit you? Um, no. You think it would go that way? <laughs> <laughs> you think it would Do you see how she grabbed my shoulder just now? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She was like, don't say Bruce. much more. I'm like, <laughs> There's already a bruise there from when you've grabbed her there before. <laughs> it's yeah. like when you're in a supermarket and your mom's no, mad at you and she doesn't it's want to indent. hit you, so she just grabs yeah. you really hard to be like, you're getting it when you get home. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's indented like a mattress that's real old. <laughs> you remember, um, do you remember um, Rugrats? Yes. There was this one episode where the, the old, the grandfather, they, it was all about his mattress. Oh. I do remember that. It was Rugrats, right? Yes. Or was it Rocco's Modern Life? Anyway, it or doesn't it matter. Or was Hey Arnold. Yeah, it might have been Hey Arnold. It anyway, might not have even been a cartoon. It <laughs> Actually, been this was Britney's yeah. mom. <laughs> <laughs> there was just a huge indent of the grandpa's yeah. body I in the mattress. That. And That's that gross. really stuck with me. Sure. I think about that once a week. Yeah. <laughs> now imagine if that was hanging off of your ass at a comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> Britney's really like, fuck, you. I did this whole comedy set with a mattress <laughs> hanging out of my pants. Man. <laughs> now that's the first tattoo. It's the mattress with an indent in it of... The grandpa from Hey Arnold. That's pretty good. Do you yeah, not have any good. tattoos? I don't have any. Me either. Yeah. Let's get a. Let's get one. The grandpa. Okay. Yeah. No, let's get one. Well, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we can do that. You can get I the mattress. Included? I'll get the grandpa, <laughs> and it's a friendship <laughs> bracelet. Yeah, and you press them together. It emerges. <laughs> it's weird because I'm gonna have to push. My, I'm not gonna. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're fine. Wherever I get the tattoo doesn't matter. You get a Where's tattooed on your bellies, like, and then you have to press your bellies together. I was like, I'm gonna get it on my pubic mound. So I'm have to put my that mons on pubis. <laughs> Hope you don't mind that on your shoulder. I guess. Uh, I she gets guess. it. <laughs> like mine she gets is it on her face. Basic. Your shoulder, I guess. All right. Should we get into this? All right. So <laughs> what we do from it, on this pod is we, um, because you guys were really like connecting and stuff, and I didn't want to interrupt that, and I'm nice. Um, we read a post from an internet user of somebody who did something stupid. Sure. Internet user. So I'm gonna get right into it. It's from Reddit. It's from Am I the asshole? And you can just chime in and oh, chime in whenever you want, comment whatever. I'm gonna set this one out actually. Oh, okay. Wanna, okay. Be respectful. Uh, you can take a nap. You're gonna go take a <laughs> shit. Gonna go get shit. Toilet paper stuck <laughs> yeah. to you again. <laughs> Fine. Hey, same it's joke. It's his thing. Oh, oh, we did that. I was listening to you because I, I hear enough of you. So I'm good at. We need the couples now. counselor. Sure. Sure. Okay. Am I the asshole for yelling at the waitress? Um, Probably. <laughs> I, 22 male, yes. went on it. <laughs> no it's question. all age based. That's yeah. crazy. If you're below 28, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You're not tired enough. If you're to be below 28 people. or above 60, then yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
Yeah. I, 22 male, went on a second date with this girl, 20 female, that I really liked. First date was good. We had good conversation and I enjoyed her presence. We had planned a second date at <laughs> a gas station. saying, I like, I like hanging out with you. I enjoy your presence. I enjoy your presence. Yeah. yeah that's good. Imagine if Dave was like, I really like hanging out. I'd be like, I enjoy your presence. <laughs> God, that would have been so cool. Anyway, she, uh, we had planned a second date at a gastro pub. She had suggested it. I hadn't been, and I don't drink, but I wanted to hang out with her, so I didn't care what we did. <laughs> Can I ask a quick aside? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Why? Why is gastro pub? I've just I've been seeing this more. Yeah, it's a pub. Yeah. It's why just are we a saying pub, gastro? But pub, I think though. they just have fancier food. Also, gastro sounds gross. Yeah, that's it sounds like, like I'm intestinal. gonna get in, what does in, it even, indigestion. What does mm. it even and you mean might. though? <laughs> for the I don't know. That's okay, I'm gonna look up what gastro pub. Figured out ask you. Yeah, Dr. This, Brittany this Codwell. Keeps happening. You're a doctor. You know how a refrigerator works. Gastro I got that the other day. Definition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's the story. I want to hear that story. The, the guy, uh, so I got that the other day. Where yeah. People think I can fix a refrigerator. You're a doctor. Oh. You should know about refrigerators. The guy I'm seeing, uh, we were in my apartment, and I was like, oh, it's hot in here, right? And I was like, oh, I'm going to turn." He was like, you could crack a window. And I'm like, I'm going to turn the fan on in the air conditioning. And he's like. Does the fan oh actually bring in air from the outside? I and I was like, so I think so. And then he's like, then he explains the whole way an air conditioning works. And I'm like, oh, okay. Also, and then, aside, she was telling me the story last night at dinner, and she was like, <laughs> and then she's excited about every part of it. Yeah. She's like, I love it when he explains air conditioners to me. Off pod, we're going to talk, because I feel like I know who you're both doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. Probably. You, you now, I know, because you and just said the first yeah, And then yeah. he goes, then he's like, you know, it's the same way a fridge works. Uh, unbelievable. Where blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm seeing it, and, and I'm then, getting mad. And then he's like, he's yeah. like. You have a you have a doctorate, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I know one thing only that I've known. She's a doctorate in so cognitive yeah. psychology. I knew what one thing even... really good for five years, and I forgot most of it after. And That's also, you it. never learned about airflow. You weren't an no. engineer. Yeah, like... yeah, no, no, no. But a gastropub. Yeah, I keep meeting guys who are into engineering. I wonder what type of person. And I keep that is. dating guys who <laughs> shoot people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, motorcycle horse. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have this dynamic where um, she's a motorcycle, obviously, yeah, okay. and then she's a and horse. I'm a horse. Yeah, okay. And where we it's like, find both, it everywhere. We're both modes yeah. of transportation. I like that. But we have very different vibes. Yes, yeah, the energy is very different. How's that not the podcast name? I know we, we thought of it and we're on mad the that podcast. We, yeah, it should have been motorcycle, motorcycle horse. horse. Yeah. But um, maybe we'll have a spinoff pod. That could be the show <laughs> that we go around with. No, yeah. it should be worthless clowns because that's why people are coming. Yeah. Uh, the three people who like us. Um, but you were right. A gastro pub is just more high quality food. Mm. Oh, okay. Which gastro doesn't do Feels that. Bad. Yeah, like whatever. That. Yeah. People are weird. Anyway. anyway. Okay. Back to the postie. It was pretty chilly. Yeah, you know what gastro pub is. You're a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I'm so sick of this. Brittany's I'm realizing so, so sick of this. Some things are awry in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you I'm stupid and you're uh, not listening. And she was describing it to me so giddily <laughs> last night. She was like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> well, and then I he think, said. Because <laughs> I think it's ridiculous. It is, it is ridiculous. It is and very I love ridiculous. when things are ridiculous. Love, be oh, careful. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Be careful. I'm fucking got my finger on the trigger at all times. Anyway, okay. God, Just like your ex. Now. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. There we go. <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was pretty chill in there. You know she about the shooting oh stuff, right? <laughs> I do. That's why. Yeah, We're yeah, never yeah, going to yeah. do the post. Yeah, We're yeah. never going to get through this fucking post sorry. because my ex shot I'm a guy. Sorry. Okay. It's one time. One time. And he's probably gone now or dead or something. Um, it was pretty chill in there. She was making me laugh, and we were just having a great time. We get loaded tater tots as the appetizer, <laughs> mm. which I ate. For the main dish, I order a burger that had a bunch of stuff on it, by, but I specifically asked for no lettuce and tomato. That's, I'm not autistic or anything. Crazy. I just don't like it. Mm. <laughs> Why do you have to explain a, a preference as I'm not autistic? I know. But um, also, you got to have you gotta have lettuce. You have to I have don't mind brunch. lettuce. I don't like tomato on a burger. It depends on where I'm at. If I'm at mm. a fancy place, tomato's good, but I don't like tomatoes that taste like a bunch of water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I got you. Mm. Um, I'm not autistic or anything. I just don't like it. 
It was very normal, so no one thought anything about it. (laughs) (laughs) Our food comes, and my burger has lettuce and tomato on it, and I'm playing it cool. I'm not even mentioning it to her. She's eating her dish, and I'm just eating my fries. I'm trying to hide it, but it's very noticeable to not take a bite of my big ass. This is burger. already insane. I, I can't even take this off. Just, just take, take it, off. it off. Yeah. What's going? Crazy. I'm yeah. not even. I'm being cool about it. Yeah. He's like, I'm being really cool about it by not eating my burger. <laughs> just angrily and eating not fries. finding yeah. ways to make the date normal. I That's know. That's how I'm being cool about it. I know. Um, she's eating, uh, uh, taking a bite of my big ass burger. And she says, why aren't you eating your burger? I say, not lying. Sometimes when I go on dates, I get so nervous. I don't want to eat. This was a lie. <laughs> That's worse than That's per- funny. he's playing it cool by being like, I'm so nervous right now. I can't <laughs> eat. That's what every, what? every woman likes is when she's the only one eating on a date. Yeah, she's I know. Like, being like, I know. I get, oh, you're not nervous enough to not eat. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Guess you're not marriage material. Yeah. <laughs> The waitress came around and asked us if we needed anything, and I asked for ketchup. She comes back with it, and then I asked if there was any, and then asked if there was anything wrong with my burger, and I said, "No, can I get a box though?" Which I thought was a really good move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> he replayed that in his head later. It's really funny that this guy says he's box. not autistic. Right, right, right. Yeah. it feels a little. The way he's writing too. The date is going well. I got well. tater tots, which I ate. <laughs> Which I ate, and then which was a lie. And then also, was was in all caps. Mm. (laughs) The date is going well. She's done with her food, and I've eaten my fries, and only my burger is left on my plate. Out of nowhere, she says- What? What do you mean? (laughs) She says, are you sure you don't want to eat? Uh, You know we are doing something after. Out of nowhere, so then he has to act like, oh- Oh, yeah, I guess there is still a burger on my plate. I'm playing it cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then I said, this guy. I know, this guy sucks ass. And then I said, yeah, I'm good, not really hungry. And then she says, didn't you ask for no lettuce? And I said, oh, I didn't even notice. And then I, and then the conversation hit a lull. And she said, if your food is wrong, you can say something. It's not a big deal. And I said, no, it's fine. I'm going to bring it home. The waitress comes back and brings us the box and asks if we need anything else. And I say no, but she says, actually, this burger was wrong. It has lettuce. I did not tell her to do this. (laughs) The waitress starts being like, oh, I'm so sorry. We can make you a new one. And I said, no, it's okay. I'm bringing it home. The waitress said, it's totally fine. We can get you a burger on the house. No, it's okay. I'm bringing it home and I'm I'm throwing it (laughs) as hard as I can into my trash. (laughs) I can't gonna, wait to do that. I've been yeah. thinking about doing that this whole time. I'm gonna punch this burger instead of punching the wall. He's like, yeah. He's like, I, yeah. Uh, because there's lettuce on my burger, I'm taking this girl home and I'm hitting her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's oh, what your no. establishment supports. That's the vibe that this lady was no. getting, which is why she said something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Waitress comes back. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, the, 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 no, I'm bringing it home. It's totally fine. I can get you a new burger. On, it's on the house. And I said, I'm bringing this one home. It's not a problem. And then she left. Then my date said, why would you do that? They were going to give you a free burger. And I said, this isn't a big deal if I'm just going to take it home. I don't want to start anything. Why do you care? I'm paying for the meal anyway. And then it was kind of awkward after that. You you care because you made the whole date about your burger that you're not eating. Yeah. We didn't even get to know each other. Yeah. I'm mad because I wasted an hour wondering and you not answering anything about the burger because you're pretending like... It's not a problem. Also, this is a thing that men do where they're like, oh, I'm not going to act like there's a problem at all. I'm going to yeah. keep saying it's fine. And then I'm going to explode when it becomes yeah. too much for me. Yeah. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I'm going to explode and then shoot when a guy my in a girlfriend makes a really normal, small <laughs> mistake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Have we even talked about that on the pod before? No. Yeah. Oh, boy. Legally, can you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I still have his jacket. Maybe yeah. the feds will show up to my house. Yeah. For his fucking DNA. Now they know who it is. Anyway, it <laughs> doesn't matter. His mugshot was in the Daily Post or whatever. Yeah, but... everyone knows who it was. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish this post. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a Patreon I do have a lingering question, but I am going to wait for you to finish. No, ask the question. The, wasn't the title like, the, am I the asshole for yelling at the server? Yeah, oh. there's one paragraph less. Okay, left. okay, okay. 
Oh um, no! Oh. Does she go what? back in and yell at the person? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's like, now I have He's to like, get my girlfriend. Did you put lettuce on my burger? Do you want me to tell the restaurant what I want? And then he yells for no reason. I don't want any fucking lettuce. <laughs> 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 you know that. Just his head. He's like, so are we doing like a third day? And they're like, you want to go to a different gas He's like, this one was a little I had weird. a really good time. And then he goes, in, he leans in, he's like. Yeah, it's full on dick out. Time out. Dick out. So he takes out his this, dick huh? and leans in for a kiss. Uh, yeah, that's my move. <laughs> she brought the check and I left a tip. I said, oh, are you I ready? I left already. I know. Okay. Um. I said, are you ready to go? And she said, actually, I know we had plans, but I'm kind of tired. I just want to go home. It was nice seeing you, though. And then left. It was like she was mad at me for not yelling at the waitress. I didn't want the A Karen or whatever. Am I the asshole for not being a jerk? Did I read the title wrong? Feels like you might have. Yeah. Am I the asshole for not yelling at the waitress? (laughs) That's okay. Oh, okay. I'm glad. I'm just, honestly, you read that so well. I'm so proud of you. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) So great. Everybody thinks I'm departed. (laughs) And they're right. Um... I don't think he's an asshole for not yelling at the waitress. I think that, I think that this man thinks that there's, Two ways to act in that situation. Yeah. It's to hide everything or scream at yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. And you can just be like, oh, I'm sorry. I asked for no lettuce or tomato. Yeah. Also, yeah. we've talked about this the option of just taking it off. Yeah. Yeah. You it's know not, what I mean? It's not Why did not that not come asshole. up in the post? He should have explained that. He yeah. should have been like, it's not like it was a piece of lettuce and a piece of tomato. It was all ground up. It was mixed in the other toppings. Or yeah, like I I I didn't want to all put my hands on the up. It was all ground <laughs> mixed into the toppings. I'll have your ground burger, please, where you just chop everything up and I just eat it off the floor. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Bad boy. boy. No lettuce, please. Put it in a dog bowl and throw it on the floor. Yeah, it's not are you an asshole? It's are you a moron? Take the lettuce off. What are you talking about? I know, yeah. You 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 talked yourself out of pussy because you couldn't take fucking lettuce and tomato off of that's crazy. I guess if he took the lettuce off, he would be like pussy. You can say pussy. Yeah, I didn't like it. You can say cunt. You can say whatever you want. Jesus, Brittany. Hey. (laughs) Came out pretty uh, naturally, huh? It's Uh, like I say it all the time. Can you mark that down, Connor? I'm taking it out. Inappropriate. <laughs> but I guess if he took the lettuce and tomato off in front of his date, then the date would be like, why aren't you just saying something? No, she wouldn't. She's probably no, she probably but wouldn't. If, if she did that, then that's a good clue that you never that want to be around this clue. woman ever. That's yeah. true. Um, you're just gonna fix it yourself instead of yelling at the You have to complain bitch? at yeah. any minor convenience if you want to date me. Yeah. If you want this to go well. Truly, this is why I would never this sounds like a meal between a twenty two year old and a twenty year old or whatever. It's yeah. just like, yeah. dude, you should yell at someone for this. So should I be yelling yeah. at someone? Yeah. Or could we just handle it? You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just figure it's it out. like different if you're like, I want it medium well and then it comes back like fucking like red. Yeah. 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 That's when you ask for a new burger. That's when you take the patty off and slap your server across the yeah, face. Yeah. Yeah. I told you what I wanted. Yeah. Do it a patty yeah. slap. <laughs> <laughs> patty slap. I'm I from love Boston. a good uh, patty you slap. You say a phrase like that. <laughs> I'm like, Hell oh, yeah. you mean a patty slap? That's a great. That's I'm an Irish baptism. That. I like that. <laughs> Remember that one time? Oh, we've talked about this on the pod, but it, uh, I was reminded of. Um, What's his name now? The tall guy. Oh, boy. Comic. He ordered a beer. Oh, Alex Dragovich. Alex Dragovich. Oh, hilarious. Love that this he, is happening. Alex Dragovich. He ordered. We were all at the gutter. Yeah. He ordered a beer. We, we all, all ordered, ordered the same IPAs. beer. Yeah. And um, yeah. we all got our beer. And he, we were like, oh, this isn't an IPA, I don't think. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's an IPA. And he's like really concerned. He's like, should I get another beer? <laughs> And for like ten minutes, he's like yes. questioning whether yes. he should ask for another. And then beer. we were both like, we're he's both like, like, I don't know if I should ask. Is that like too much to ask? I could just drink this beer. And then I was like, dude, just that I- was our whole conversation. We barely know this guy. We could have been, so yeah. yes, been getting to know him. Yeah, we could have been getting to know him. Is what Brittany oh, just said. No. That's so funny. And then I was like, dude, I'm gonna drink this. I think he felt weird because I was like, I'm just gonna drink it. Yeah. It's a beer. And same yeah. here. And then I he's was like, like, I'm not gonna what I ask for. And then eventually he came to this place where he's like, you know what? I'm not gonna ask for another one and then Brittany was like it doesn't it feel good to make a decision oh, that's funny <laughs> which is the funniest that's thing really I've funny. ever heard Brittany say that's great that's, and doesn't that's, it feel good to so make a decision he was so distressed for like 10 minutes about this question in his mind and he he probably sat in that comment for like 6 months later oh like, yeah imagine being good. cucked by Brittany <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's so really good. funny. He 
He did a thing one time. He doesn't know that I saw this, but this <laughs> stuck with me. Uh, first of all, Alex Dragovitz, very funny comedian. You should yeah, follow him. Check really him nice out. guy. Yeah, he's nice great. Can't well, I would know better if he's nice this. if we just had a moment to talk. Have him on the, have <laughs> him on the pod. Bring him on the pod. <laughs> yeah. and, be like, and then we'll talk about that the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> one time I saw him do a thing. That do you really... like where you ended up because of that decision? <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling friends? about it now? That's hilarious. Same place at the gutter. I saw him buy a round of beers. And one of the people in the group was like a literal millionaire. <laughs> and I was like, why are you buying this? It, it like, and they're friends. How did you know this person was a millionaire? Uh, I know their family lineage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll lineage. tell you who it was it's, off. Okay. It's, I don't think it was that bad. Okay. But. Is it a comic? Yeah. Oh, boy. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. I love finding yeah. out who's fucking rich. Yeah, me too. And, and I then just, I hate him. And I was like. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'll know. And I saw, it, he, you know, that's like the movie. You know, sometimes we're feeling good after set, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. I got around, whatever. Cool. Yeah. But I, watching the other How person. How big was this round? You said it was a lot I think it was drinks? just those two. Oh, okay. I was mm. kind of leaning in to oh, hope to get one, right. but I didn't, it didn't work out for me. So, so you just, you, you're <laughs> like, somebody's buying beers and then you <laughs> stand near it. <laughs> I'm also thirsty. My voice changes. I don't know. I'm also <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> it's drinky time. Are we riffing? <laughs> But that's, the, I just feel like he's like a, he's a, he's, he always means well and he's always got a lot of thoughts in his head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But sometimes they like, so spill high. Out. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so, it was just, I just thought it was so funny because Alex played like Division One basketball. So he's, he's like done amazing athletic feats in front of like 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people. Yeah. yeah. And also he struggles with a small <laughs> interpersonal social reaction. It's very funny. He's very funny. I like him. <laughs> Oh, That's God. It. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> One time we ran into him on the train after this pod, and then he's like, I'm going on a date with a girl who saw me at a comedy show. Yeah. And that was months ago. And then months later, we see him at the gutter and me and Brittany are like, how was your date? <laughs> <laughs> because that's the only thing we know about that's him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. That's great. Like, <laughs> we were like, just like, I remember this about you. Yeah, and yeah. also, it's yeah. funny that it's like <laughs> me and Brittany are just always together around yeah. people. And yeah, so, so we're like, like, what do we have in Alex? What do we have in Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're just like the twins from The Shining showing up and being like, how was your date? <laughs> <laughs> I've done this a lot before. I remember one time, like, not as a joke. I hadn't seen Josh Johnson in a while. Mm -hmm. um, maybe just like a few weeks, but I was, saw him all the time because he's on Ambush, right? Yeah. But I hadn't seen him in a while for some reason. And, um, then he came to the show and I was like, oh, hey. And then I did that thing. Like I thought of my last memory of him and I was sure. like, hey, we went to Checkers. And remember <laughs> this? Something, something. Brittany's just listing like, things that we've like, done together. I've known you for I, like, three years. She's like, <laughs> remember how like, we're friends? What are you talking about? I just listed, I just remembered the event in front of him that he was in. Sure. And, then I, and then he looked at me like it was weird, which it was. And then I was like, that's my last memory of you. <laughs> He's like, did I die and come back to life? Why are we talking about me like this? Yeah. this postpartum. I and then you guys just talk about checkers the entire well, time. Well, then he just made fun of me for a long time. Yeah, of course. I was like genuinely like, that was my last memory of you. Yeah, I know. And I didn't like really realize you do that shit all as the time. I said it how weird it was. Sure. You do that shit all the time where you say some, you're like, you remember that? And then everybody's like, why did you just say that? <laughs> I will say, Britney energy in a hang is always really nice. Oh, we love, it's we love Britney in a hang. so endearing. It's great. Last time I, I love saw it. you at the gutter, <laughs> I was like, hey, the alien thing again. Because <laughs> one of the last times I saw him, we were talking about the congressional hearing. Yeah. So I just pulled that up. Yeah, I'm that like a, a hairdresser point. that remembers everything about the last time <laughs> I cut your hair. Really funny. Because you're like, yeah, the aliens. I was like, was there something new? And you're like, no, no. the hearing. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, we already <laughs> talked about this. <laughs> No, but remember the relationship we're building as friends? Because that's what I'm thinking. And what's funny is like, that is not, that's, now I, it's good to know that you had that. I was like, I don't remember us talking about this at all. I just remember like having a good feeling every time. Because it wasn't out. special for you because you talked to everyone about it. But I was like, Ben, talk to me about aliens. Dude, next time we see, we're going to be like, remember when you were on our podcast? Yes. And we'll be together. <laughs> We'll be together and be like, hey, remember when we were on the pod and then it felt like it re went really well? <laughs> and that was the one we like. We remember the title of that pod, by the way. <laughs> we call back to that. 
What's the title? Of we don't know yet. yet. I don't know. Oh. We I have like sometimes it, when it happens during the podcast. Yeah. Like, that's the one. Yeah. yeah, we do do that, but we try not to do that because it's too inside baseball. Yeah, we do too many. Logistics. Not like talking about three comedians specifically that we <laughs> yeah. only know and nobody else knows. I know. Yeah, that's not inside baseball. <laughs> And we're like, the gutter. We yeah. all no. gutter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alex Dragovich, you know, his head's up high. It is I up don't high. say why. He's a tall guy. <laughs> like, it is. He's a tall, soft boy. Yeah. <laughs>